Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where according to my notes, we're putting a satellite in a specific orbit of Moho. I mean, yeah, yeah that's that's fine, that's not where we, want, where we want to go anyway. We want to go into the tracking station because we want to get to that satellite. So this is, of course, let's see, orbiting, which one is it? This guy? Uh, yeah, I'm going to guess it's this guy. So let's play this guy. Uh, this is, of course, the first video in this play session, so it's going to get a little bit on the awkward side. Hmm, we have some overheating in our, in our monopropellant tanks, speaking of a little bit on the awkward side. Let's see, we have a maneuver node set up here. We can do a mystery goo observation. We'll wait on that, though. So, ah, uh, I see. Is MechJeb doing this maneuver currently? No. Let's execute this next node, and let's stop our rotation so we can get back here a little bit quicker. Apparently MechJeb thinks that's close enough, which is a little bit astonishing. <laughs> I would not have said that was close enough, but whatever. Okay, so it looks like we are changing our inclination to match the inclination of this, this orbit, which is kind of a wacky orbit. But then we just need to change the longitude of the ascending node, which we'll just do with MechJeb. That won't be too, too bad. Well, MechJeb, you, uh, you gonna do this? We do have a fair amount of Delta V left here. We should have plenty to do this, theoretically. We are, of course, operating off of this, this atomic rocket motor, so, uh, it's a little low thrust to weight but it's, it's fine. It'll be just fine. We have so much Delta V left in the tank, and once we get down to this, then we're just completely golden. Okay, so that should be our inclination matched. Now we just need to do the longitude of the ascending node. So let's change our longitude here, and let's see here, where is it? Specific orbit of Moho. We want a longitude of ascending node of 175.3 degrees. Well, let's see if that's west. Create node? No. That isn't what we're looking for at all. Remove all nodes. Let's try east. That isn't what we're looking for either. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Instead, I guess maybe we could eyeball this burn like here ish well just burn at the descending node at this point probably oh well, we can't we have to burn at the descending node on this orbit which is uh, right about here ish and let's see if we can't find the correct maneuver to do this well that's not it <laughs> that's certainly not it we'll go ahead and remove that maneuver Radial and anti-radial? Nope. Okay. Well, it might be the point three that's messing this up. That does not appear to be the case. Okay, um, our inclination needs to be 63.2 degrees, which is our correct inclination right now. So all we do need to do is change the longitude of the ascending node. So let's just... Uh, work with this a little bit. Something, well, I mean, not really like that. We need to go a lot, well, not that far. <laughs> we need to go a lot more like this, but we're falling in this way right now, which is actually the opposite direction we need to go. So first things first, Let's go ahead and invert our orbit. We're already at basically the max here, so let's just go ahead and retrograde this on up, invert our orbit, and bring it back up to about where we were before. Something like that. Let's do that first. That will help. <laughs> Execute next node. Okay. So we are currently doing that. Let's Turn on RCS to turn a little bit faster, 
Okay, can turn that back off and just drift over this way a bit. Now our pitch is definitely off, but that's fine. We can adjust that here in a moment, right about now is when we want to stop our rotation. And let's do a bit more on the rotation front, like that. Excellent. Okay. Take it away, Mech Jeb. And here we go, warping to our maneuver node. Not actually sure where Moho is right now. We're pretty far away from it, realistically. Okay. So it should be like, yeah, right there. Excellent. Okay. Hi, Moho. What are you doing here? Well, let's go ahead and warp up. Not warp up. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> that, that was a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and turn on our RCS to get up here a little bit quicker. And then we can warp up to kill our rotation. And then RCS to correct a bit. And kill our rotation again. Fantastic. Okay. So this is going to burn out about 250 meters per second out of our nuclear engine. Now, obviously, our thrust to weight on this thing is pretty awful, and our thrust to weight on the actual satellite is far, far better. So there is that to be aware of. But we have tons and tons of fuel left in here. We have five and a half minutes of burn time, even though we're pretty close to running out of liquid fuel. These things are just so, so efficient, but they're so slow. <laughs> they are so, so slow. Okay, so... I believe that we currently... What is even happening here? Like... We currently don't have an orbit over Moho? Is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening, actually. Why don't we have an orbit over Moho? That's strange. We were burning retrograde. That simply shouldn't happen. Well... Hmm. Well, Moho is significantly above us right now. That's probably what's happening. I mean, we could do this. Although we'd need to set Moho as our target. Which could be exciting, since it's currently not working. Hang on a moment. I think the game completely bugged out or something there. Let's try hopping back to the space center. Because we were burning retrograde, we shouldn't have dropped orbit. It says orbiting the sun still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're definitely still orbiting the sun. And the thing is, that started... Oh, I bet I know what happened. Okay, so, um... Hmm. You know what? Let's just load our latest save. Year 4, day 90. Just because I, I think it was the RCS that pushed us out of orbit. And I'm not entirely sure why that would have happened. Well, we're still orbiting the sun here. Okay, um, well, let's just... Moho, set as target. Focus view. Home and transfer to target. Create node. Nope! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, maybe if we simply burn towards the target? I mean, it's a little awkward, to be sure. Because, I mean, we're not going that quickly relative to the target, right? Or we just burn target retrograde, relative velocity minus. Which might be kinda similar. So yeah, let's just match, match orbits with the target for now. Relative velocity minus. 
and see what exactly that does. Okay, so let's go ahead and warp up right about now. This is so awkward. Okay. Go ahead and match velocity with the target. We're just doing a standard intercept at this point. It's so awkward. Like, this is not something that we should be doing. <laughs> but I messed up, and I'm willing to own up to that. So let's go ahead and match planes here. Well, we already matched planes, but let's match velocity with the target. Like so. We're only moving... Oop, there we go. Okay. We have a Moho encounter, but it's way up here. So let's burn towards the target a bit. Turn on our RCS just slightly, just to get up here a little bit more quickly. So, I mean, we don't really want to be intersecting the target in 20 days. So we want to speed this up a little bit by burning towards the target, just so that we get into the sphere of influence just a little bit quicker. That's the idea, anyway. And then we need to get back to matching this orbit, because I am an idiot and couldn't be bothered to make sure that we're staying in in the orbit and not getting out of and not getting to escape velocity with RCS thrusters. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on our RCS a bit since we were apparently not doing any of the anything of the sort. Not moving at all. That's a little bit awkward. We're going to go ahead and move towards the target ever so slightly. Just want to see what exactly this is going to do. Okay. Yep, it's moving it a lot closer. Okay, we, we are in right now. We are in right now. So we need to go orbital retrograde. Go into orbit mode. We're going to turn on our RCS. Actually, we're not quite... Moho escape here? I don't think we're actually in this orbit quite yet. Although maybe we are. Why are you... Okay. Stop turning. <laughs> Go on back to retrograde. You can do it. There you go. Okay, stop turning. Now chill at retrograde, and we're burning. Okay, that broke our orbit. Lovely. Which is interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, we want to be at relative velocity minus. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's get back into... Get back into the orbit. Are we out of RCS? No. Okay. Good. It just didn't want to keep burning it. I don't blame it. Okay. Let's get back into this in, into this here. Now. That's 10 days away. That's 15. So let's just warp here. And let's just get right on back into our orbit. Well, I mean, we're going to be on an impact velocity here, or an impact trajectory. Very suborbital, but that's okay. That is fine. This is also hyperbolic, like extremely hyperbolic. So we just need to check our orbital velocity here. Go to retrograde. Gonna turn on our RCS just for a little bit, even though it is, you know, a little angry. 
kind of screwed us up before. Well, screwed me up. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. There we go. Okay. We recovered because we have a million Delta V. <laughs> so let's go ahead and burn retrograde now. Okay. We now have our Apoapsis here. So let's just go ahead and put in... We're, we're going to need to twist this orbit because we're extremely elliptical. Like, way too elliptical. So let's go ahead and do something like this. And burn retrograde a little bit. And then just get our orbit to be a little safer. Kind of like that-ish. Okay, go ahead and execute that node. There we go. We're back, kind of. Which way are we currently going? Like, this is one day away. Eight days, two days. So we're going to be going this way, I think, which is doable. Excellent. I think. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and turn on RCS just a little bit here. It'll mess up our orbit slightly, which is why I don't like RCS. We got into this whole mess because of RCS. Just going to stop our, our rotation with a time warp there. Okay. So we should be going relatively towards-ish Moho right now. Which it should be down over this way. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Hello, Moho. We're back. Kind of. <laughs> well, this has turned out to be more complicated than I originally anticipated. Okay. There. Now we're not going to be, you know, impacting the surface of Moho. That would be awkward. Really, really awkward. We have another three minutes of burn left in this engine, so we have plenty of Delta V. Our periapsis is 1.7, and it needs to be 4.9, but that's fine. We can adjust that later. My main priority right now is just making sure we don't impact Moho. And now we won't. Okay, no more RCS. So we're going to go ahead and grab this here. Excellent. And we're going to add a maneuver here. And let's just mess around with this a little bit. Not like that. Well, actually, kind of like that. Let's do something along the lines of... This. Excellent. That's very, very close. I don't know if we're going the correct direction, and we're going to have to adjust our apoapsis and periapsis pretty extensively, but that should be pretty close to fine. And we may be going the incorrect direction, but we can adjust that in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and execute this node. And we can make any fine-tuned adjustments to this if necessary, but I believe that gets us the correct longitude of ascending node and inclination in a single burn. We may have to invert our orbit, but that's not a big deal. As long as I don't use RCS again, since we are so, so close to the, to, to the escape velocity of this thing right now. Okay, let's do this. Gonna go ahead and warp up to kill our rotation. Excellent. Actually, I just... I'm looking at the Z fighting on the sun there. Never actually looked at the sun without the flare before. That's kind of interesting. I guess I didn't put too much work into getting rid of that Z fighting since it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, so 369.9 Delta V here. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Mech Jeb will be firing now. 
Excellent. Assuming Mechjeb doesn't mess up this burn, which I don't think it will, we should be fine. Now, we are currently going down, so we're going in this direction, which, based on how this is going, I think, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think we're going the correct direction. Yeah, we're going the correct direction. Excellent. Okay, so we don't even need to invert our orbit. That's not bad at all. We can just very, very quickly adjust our apoapsis and periapsis. No real concerns there. Fantastic. Well, Mechjeb didn't want to do the longitude of ascending node properly, but we got it sorted. Also, RCS kind of tried to screw us, but we have so much delta V, it doesn't even matter. Two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, so let's just check our... That should be close enough. I think that's going to count. If not, we can make a small adjustment later. But for now, we're going to add a maneuver right, right next to the apoapsis of this thing. And actually, I'm going to move this maneuver just slightly. Just slightly to be right about here-ish. Yeah, that should be good. And we're going to go ahead and burn prograde here and set our periapsis. Well, actually, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to set our periapsis to be right about here. We're going to burn a little retrograde. There we go. And we're just doing that so that we can adjust our apoapsis from here. And then we'll do that, and then we'll orbit back around to here, and then we'll push out our periapsis, and that should finish this up. We are not going to be using RCS, because we can achieve escape velocity with RCS, and it's really awkward. So, reaction wheel it is. Luckily, we've burned out most of the fuel from this tank, so... There's not too, too much weight to have to move with our reaction wheel, which is good. Okay, let's go ahead and warp up to kill our rotation, and now Mechjeb will take it from here. I'm going to do an 8 second burn here. Our periapsis is going to be relatively low here, but that's fine. We just wanted to move the position of it from here to here. I mean, it wasn't strictly necessary, but... I mean, I mean, this isn't really necessary at all. Let's just not do this. Abort node execution. Why do this when we can just do this and save some fuel? Oh, we're control locked right now. Lovely. When will we no longer be control locked? Well, it should be relatively soon. Where is this satellite? currently on the other side of the planet. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and warp around to around here. That's fine. Us being control locked is honestly kind of beneficial. So once we're no longer control locked, we will unwarp. Oh, we are no longer control locked. Um, um, <laughs> why did the auto warp put us at max warp? No idea. Anyway, we're going to add a maneuver here, and we're just going to set the apoapsis to be, well, a, a little lower than this. 5358, five, so right about, right about here, oop, that went too far. Sometimes, 5358, five, that'll be good. Okay. Execute that node. And this will take a little bit of time to rotate over there. Let's physics warp up so that the warp goes a little bit faster. I would like to finish this up this episode. We are kind of getting to the end of the episode, though, and this is taking some time. <laughs> Mostly because I'm an idiot. That's the primary reason here, but... Okay, let's go ahead and unphysics warp right about now. 
And then we're going to warp up to kill our rotation right about now. That'll be fine. And now we'll just warp on over to the maneuver node. There we go. And then once we are in position to do this, I mean, I mean, the, the question then is, do we want to try to match the periapsis here or do we just want to push it to like here and just match the altitudes? I mean, that's probably fine. That'll probably be close enough if we just burn at this apoapsis rather than trying to burn like here. I think it, I think it'll be fine. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that's close enough, Mechjeb. You can stop. And then we'll just add a maneuver here to burn prograde to get this out to, what, 4980. Okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Right about... Nope, oh, that went too far. Sometimes the scroll wheel can be a little too sensitive. Look at that. It's kind of insane. It, like, accelerates based on how many clicks of the scroll wheel you do. It, it It's odd. Anyway, we'll go ahead and execute that. And that should be close enough. Ascending and descending nodes are zero. Yeah, that should be close enough. So let's go ahead and physics warp up. And rotate on over here. There we go. Physics warp down. And now we're going to regular warp up to kill our rotation. Right about... Now. And now Mech Jeb will take over. Excellent. You go, Mech Jeb. And off we go. So this should complete the contract, theoretically. This should be close enough. I mean, we're really close. <laughs> the main thing that we're missing is our periapsis and apoapsis are at slightly different locations. And that, that'll be fine. And we still have, like, a million things. And yeah, that, that was close enough. So now we just need to maintain stability for 10 seconds. And there we go. Contract complete. We've successfully deployed our satellite in orbit of Moho. Okay, and with that, I think we're largely done with Moho. So let's start moving on and putting our eyes towards Eve and its moon Gilly, which we'll get to in the next episode. See you all then.